Hello, hello, hello. Hi, welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome. Um, this is a scope about dream behind the dream, goal setting, goal setting fails in vision boards. Um, it's a scope about what happens when you set the wrong dreams and you find yourself following the wrong goals. So, hi, if you don't know me, I am Dominique Anderson and I help women, um, entrepreneurs, business women, um, professional women, um, reconnect with their goals, soul-centered goals, and reach their dreams faster without stress or compromise. And, um, and normally women come to me when they're in a space where everything looks right, but it doesn't feel right. And I help them articulate what they actually want and redesign a life that works for them. So um, I wanted to share a couple of stories with you. And the first story is um, I was doing this workshop, uh, a vision board workshop. So the thing is, vision board are the rage. Everybody's making vision boards. And um, what I've noticed is that like, often people just plaster things on their boards without really thinking about what they really want to achieve. Um, it's like everybody has a picture of Oprah, everybody has like a big house, a car, um, but it's not really what they truly, truly, truly want. And, um, and, and, and basically the, the goals are very materialistic or the goals are very ego-based, but they don't really work like deep down for them. And uh, so that's why I, I started to really do these workshops around vision board. And um, the, the thing about this workshop, about vision boards, is that um, when people get into, into the space of creating a vision board, um, they forget to connect. Hello, hi, hi, welcome. Thank you for the hearts, love it. Uh, so yeah, I was, uh, I was just starting, so you're just coming at the right time, talking about vision boards, goal settings, and uh, goal setting, and uh and workshop oh my god all these hearts i'm loving this thank you thank you so much so uh, yeah and i was saying it was just i was about to start the story so it's about this uh, vision board workshop and people start with this visions of oprah big house big car and this vision board is just a collage of things but it's not really connected yeah great i love it really not really connected with something that actually speaks to them deeply on a soul level and so this is a, there was a kind of a, an interesting story and i was really grateful for this woman for this beautiful example so we're doing this vision board workshop and everybody's there a uh, small group and i get to do intimately and this small group and everybody's sharing uh what they want uh to accomplish and what they want the vision board to be about so um a, a few sharing this woman comes in and she's really strong and she's really powerful and she's like okay don't judge don't judge, but I have like big goals. I have big goals. I want something big. I'm going to be the boss lady. I'm just going to, you know, and she wants to have this big company, lots of people make tons of money. And she's like, well, for what I need, I need tons of money and I'm going to do this big thing. And uh, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Love it. So I'm going to do this big. Oh, thank you so much. And I'm going to do this big goal, uh, this, this big company. And uh, so we're like, okay, sure, you know, and obviously I love it that people, you know, have um, big dreams. It's great. I mean, I love that you want to make an impact. That's really amazing. So we're like, okay, sure, you know, and obviously no one is going to judge you. And this is perfect space for sharing. This, this workshop is like going over a few hours and, um, you know, a couple of hours later, hi, a couple of hours later, um, we go in, in her vision. And, and uh, I always take a lot of time to make them just go through this vision board and understand what they want to articulate. And I'm sat next to her and I'm like, okay, so what's going on here? Um, where's your staff? Where's your office? Where's your, where's your company? I don't, I don't even see anything, like anything related to business on your vision board. Nothing. So we're like... Um, 
okay, how does this work? How does this work? What does it mean when you you start out by saying, "Oh, I want this big vision. I want this big company," and in the end, there's nothing, nothing related to your ideal vision, what you thought you wanted when you finished doing this vision board. And what happens is that people get caught up in the dream, what they think they want, what society tells them what they they should want, what has been advertised, what has been given by family, parents, schools, etc. And they don't connect with what they really want on the soul level. Exactly. They don't, they don't take the time. They don't take the time to go into what they actually want. They don't know themselves. People don't know themselves. They don't know what they want. They don't know... Oh, thank you. They don't know what the goals are and what makes their heart sing. So, I mean, I'm not saying you shouldn't want to, to have comfort. I'm not saying you shouldn't want to have luxury, but you need to be sure why, why you're doing this. Why it, is it? And, and, and exactly. And, um, and this story basically, um, resonated because I had another conversation, um, a, a couple of weeks ago with a family member and, uh, and I come from this family of like the hardcore super women, uh, you know, let's just do this. So I had a lot of example of these women who just like, let's do it. The, the, the first wave of these women just having big job, big titles, uh, and, and doing all these, this work. And, um, now it's the time when they're getting older and they're winding down. And it was a really interesting conversation to have with someone who was a quintessential, you know, like I have my staff, I have my this, I have my that, responsibility, big, big title, big all that. And, and just hearing this woman telling me, you know, I don't really care about any of this stuff anymore. I'm not, I'm not interested in doing all this work. I'm not interested. I was busy doing all this stuff for people. I was busy making money for other people. I was busy running the show and being like the big bad woman. Uh, but I haven't really done anything I wanted to do. I haven't really done anything for myself. I haven't really done anything that made me happy. And you know what the worst thing was to hear? I don't have any time left. I don't have so much time left. And with the little time I have, now I don't, I don't have time for any more BS. I want to take care of myself. I want to take care uh, of doing things that matter to me. So... All this kind of, you know, connected. So basically I have on, on one end, I have this woman, you know, she's young. She's like mid twenties, thirties, just starting in life and being like, she, you know, she's like, she's been fed the Kool-Aid. She drank the Kool-Aid. She's been fed this thing. I want, I want, I want, I'm going to do it. I can do it. I'm tough. I can do it. And then on the other end of the spectrum, you have the woman who's like, she's gone through the whole past and she's like, you know what? I don't know this stuff, but I really didn't care about it. So... <laughs> This is basically condensed, the goal setting fell. It's like, what is the dream behind the dream? Uh, in the case of the woman at the workshop, she started out saying she wanted to be a businesswoman. She ended up saying she wanted to be an artist, a dancer, um, have a big family. And the reason she, she thought she needed a lot of money was because she could not understand or imagine how she was going to be able to create this um, this lifestyle around the dance. It had nothing to do. It was just that this was the only path that she could um, envision around how to create this life. Obviously, the business um, the business aspect had nothing to do with the dance. It was just what she thought was the way. And because she only, she thought that was the way, she got herself tangled in this vision where she could have had like years upon years, exactly, you know, years upon years of, of, of a lot of work, big long days, thank you, big long days uh, of working just because she thought she had to do all this stuff to get to dancing or, or living off her passion, you know? So that's, that's basically the point. It's like, what is the dream behind the dream? Don't listen to this and don't fall for your own ego telling you, I'm going to be the boss lady. You know, I'm going to do all this stuff. Nothing wrong with it. I'm, you know, I'm my own boss, but don't do it if you're doing it because 
this is the trend. Don't do it because all your girlfriends are doing it. Don't do it because it's cool. Do it because it really is what you want. Because you know what you're going to do with that business. You know you, who you're going to impact. Because you know who you're going to transform. Don't just do it because, yeah, I think this is how I'm going to get to the second thing that I want. And in the end, you're not really talking about that second thing that you want. You're just so get caught up in the first thing that the, the, the real, true purpose is ignored. So, um, so basically, yeah, that's it. You, you, you want to go deeper. And, 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 you know, this is the end of the year. Everybody's in, in goal setting mode. Everybody's like making a vision board. Everybody's like cutting pictures. I'm going to be best friend with Oprah. You <laughs> know, that's kind of the thing. And, and at the end of the day, it's like, no, I have nothing with being friends with Oprah, but what do you really want? Get, dig, you know, like dig in there. What do you want? And when you're done digging, you go back and dig some more. What do you really, really want? And when you do good, done digging, you might dig a little deeper. Basically, you want to dig deep so that you understand who you are and why you want what you want. And if it's something that you want because your girlfriend is, has it, maybe you don't want that. Maybe if it's something that you want because you realize that, hey, I've learned something in my life. I've had an experience and I don't want anyone to suffer through this. And I want to make sure that you know, my experience helps, <laughs> my experience helps someone, then maybe that's your purpose. Maybe that's something you want to pursue. But just following something because it's trendy, just because, oh, I'm going to get some Lubuta, you know, it's like, come on, can we, can we not? Can we not? You know, we just, can we give me some goals that are actually connected with something where you make a difference? Because I think, you know, we're at this point on, on this planet where we need to, we can't just be consuming. We can't just be destroying this planet and just being completely lame. We have to also add. And, and what are we adding? When we're creating our goals, how do we add something to the equation? So that's what I wanted to share with you today. Um, basically, dig. Dig deeper. And don't get caught up on the how in the first place, you know, you don't need to know how you're going to get to your goal. It's, the question is like, first you need to know what you really want. And then once you know that this is another scope, this is another day, this is another step. It's like, okay, now, how am I? You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome, Connie. Um, how am I, you know, going to get to that place? But don't do that. You can't mix the two steps. The two steps is one after the other. First, what do I want? And be clear on that. Make sure it's connected with your, with your soul. And two, once you have that, you try to figure out how you get there. And, I, and I'm going to tell you another thing. I mean, my, uh, my work, a lot, I, work, I work a lot, sorry, with manifestation. And uh, you might not think you know how you can get there logically. But once you're connected with something that really matters, something that's really, really um, aligned with your soul, even though it seems impossible, even though it seems crazy, the way is going to open up for you. The way is going to open up for you. But you want to be aligned. And you want to make sure that what you go after is something that in 30 years, you know, like this person I was talking to in my family in 30 years, you're not looking at your life and saying, well, you know, I did all this stuff. It sounded cool. I was like the boss lady. But at the end of the day, uh, I don't have so much time and I didn't do anything I wanted to do. That's it. That's all I had to say about goal setting. If you have anything to say, please feel free to. If not, I'm going to get off and let you get back to your life because, you know. So, thank you for the hearts. Appreciate. That's really adorable. Thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, my God. You're all so friendly. Yeah, you're welcome, Philly Flag Girl. You're welcome. How are you doing? Yeah, I hope that was useful. I mean, I guess it was because you're all hearting it like crazy. So, <laughs> yeah, I didn't even ask. Oh, thank you so much, Connie. Thank you. 
Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't even ask you to hard up. But apparently, you like all harding up like do 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 little maniac. So that's pretty so sweet. But yeah, so that's all I had to say. Really, I mean, I don't want to stop you mid harding flow. But I mean, that's all for today, right? We need to get going. You got stuff to do. I got stuff to do. Oh yeah, I know what you can do. Dig. Go get your goals and dig. Go dig. All right. You have a beautiful Sunday, Saturday, it's still Saturday, so you have a beautiful Saturday. Thank you so much for the hearts, thank you so much for the love, and make sure you get your dreams right. I mean, don't just follow any stupid dream because someone says it's cool, um, or because it looks like you need to be the boss lady, because, you know, we're all about that. Just follow goals that you actually uh, care about, right? That's it. Have a beautiful day. Bye. Bye now. I don't know how to turn this off. You too. Bye, Philly Fly Girl. Take care. Okay, I don't know how this thing is turned enough, so I'm going to look like an idiot for a minute, but I'm off. <laughs> All right, I got it. Um, yeah. Ciao. Oh, bye. Oh. Nay. Um, am I still on? I guess I'm still on. Look, I'm sorry, Irreplaceable, I'm leaving now, but you can watch the replay. I'm trying to get off the scope, and I'm, to the street, I'm still pretty new to Periscope, so bear with me a minute. Bye!